Hey, hey, hey. Tav, another out of this world story from our space. In today's video, we're tackling a raw, inspiring story about moving on after a devastating breakup, finding a purpose, and discovering love again. My wife cheated too. I'm in two therapy sessions a week and on Lexapro. I'm about six months out of finding out. I've successfully divorced her without losing anything. I blocked her, and I'm generally happy most of the time. I'm here to tell you it does get better. I consider myself lucky now because a life with her would have been absolute hell. But today, I broke down as I do most days. I cried my eyes out. I don't miss her so much as I miss having a life to share with someone. I own a business and a dog. I have several friends and family that check in on me daily. I have several blessings in life that I don't want to take advantage of. But all of it feels pointless now. I started this business for her. I wanted to share my life with her, have kids. I have a white picket fence and a home, build a tree house in the backyard. I wanted all of that. That was my lifelong dream. I realize now she didn't deserve it. Therapy has made me realize I was spending too much time taking care of her when she didn't take care of me at all. She cheated on me with a coworker. She did so because I was busy building her future and she didn't feel I was invested in the relationship as much as I once was. This was not true. What she told me, it completely floored me. We had a classic, beautiful relationship in my mind. She had been cheated on before, and so have I. So I didn't think either of us would do that to each other. I guess I was wrong. I'm not at the point where I want to be, unfortunately. I want to be in love again. I don't know if it really exists anymore. I don't want these suicidal thoughts. The only thing really stopping me is my niece and nephew. They're my world now. I go to my nephew's soccer games every Saturday. If I didn't have that, I think I would have been gone a long time ago. But above all, I don't want to waste my time on someone who doesn't deserve me ever again. I don't want to date someone for months and find out they aren't as committed to me as I am to them ever again. I'm terrified of heartbreak. And I know most of us here are. But I am not one to face my fears. I will try and try again. I will get up over and over again. I will not give up. And I encourage you to do the same. Nothing worth having is ever free. So take your time. Get to a good relationship with yourself before you try something new with someone. But get back out there. Don't hide behind the wall you put up because someone hurt you. But at that point, they've won. I'm sorry if this is all rambling. I really just needed a place to dump my thoughts and hopefully encourage others to do the same. Love you, even if I don't know you. Let's check in with the community, see how they react. D. Reddit Avenger wants to say this. I quit my dream career, of which I made no money, to pursue a career that would pay so I could marry the woman I loved at the time. Proposed and then caught her cheating. Three months later, I got a job in the new career, which paid more money than I had ever had in my life. Enough that I would have been able to pay for a department for us to start our life. But I had ghosted her for cheating. So I got this job at a place I had been temping at, and they hired me at the end of the week. It should have been a triumphant moment for me, and I cried on the way home. The job was for us and she was gone. True, I ghosted, but she was the one who left me. So I get it. For a long time, I felt like you do. It was about another year before the whole thing wasn't a bitter taste. Here's the thing about two years after the day, in the car, I met my wife with a job. She had worked at a different building, so until she moved, I didn't even know she existed. I'm pushing on my second decade with her now. She just got up from sitting next to me, watching the baseball game and critiquing the sideline reports outfit to go to bed. Every once in a while, we make pasta or cupcakes together. Last weekend, we watched The Thin Man, and the next day, football. I did so well. I also have had a very financially rewarding career. The day in the car, I would never have believed I would be here. I couldn't see it. All I knew was I lost my chance. It was okay that I couldn't see it. The thing is, it didn't matter if I could see it or not. It happened anyway. Have hope, man. Because there is hope. This is a life. It's bittersweet. It's melancholy. Much of the time it's ordinary and boring. But it's also filled with the highest of highs and even the lowest of lows. That's living. Embrace that. The most important thing to remember is that every day you get a chance. Maybe your girl hasn't switched offices yet, but she might tomorrow. Update. Therapy, exercise, and hinge. A couple of months back, I made a post sharing my experience here with people like you who have been through something like me. I tried my best to be positive and give hope even when I wasn't fully there yet. But today, I can honestly say, after only one year of my then-wife cheating on me, 
I'm the happiest I have ever been in a very long time. I go to therapy every week. My business is doing well and growing. I work out when I can, no pressure, and hence let me meet someone who's spectacular, well together and does things I never thought anyone would ever want to do for me. I can honestly say it has gotten better. For me at least anyways, my ex has gained weight, emailed me, spied on me, liked my Facebook photos from a mutual friend's Facebook account, meanwhile, she still blocked on everything. I'm here again, I think to tell you that self-investing, self-improvement is the high road. It's the road you should take. Even when you feel like it's a bad investment, invest. Work on you. Bet on you. Be kind to yourself. Block your ex and ask for help. Oh, and drink more water. I hope you all have a great Sunday. Thank you for sharing your stories and keeping me going to the darkest times of my life. Corporate can indeed be shattering, but it's clear that you've used it as a catalyst for personal growth and self-discovery. Your determination and resilience are truly inspiring, especially your dedication to keep going even during the toughest times. The way you've shifted your focus towards self-love and self-care is a powerful testament to the strength of the human spirit. Remember, love exists not only in romantic relationships but also in the connections you have with your family, friends, and even yourself. You are proof that it does get better and there's always hope, even in our darkest moments. Keep taking care of yourself and continue embracing life one step at a time. On to the next adventure. ex fiance got his ex-girlfriend pregnant. My now ex fiance cheated with his ex-girlfriend and got her pregnant. The girl later messaged me after the end of the engagement, telling me how sorry she was for being a homewrecker and that she only did it out of spite because she was jealous of me. Keep this in mind because it has a lot to do with the story. Here's how it went. I started dating him in February of 2021, not knowing he was with her at the time. I found out when I saw relationship type pictures of them on Facebook around August of 2022. When I asked him about it, he told me that they broke up a while ago and that she was posting old pictures to upset me and tried to destroy our relationship, which later proved to be true. So I ignored it, but I still had a feeling of something was off. Fast forward to November 2022. I happened to check Facebook again, where I then found pregnancy photos of them. At this point, I knew I was done with him, so I wanted to reach out to her for closure. So I reached out to her respectfully, saying something like, I'm his fiance. Do you mind telling me what's going on? She told me that they were together for years and that he was only with me for convenience. She also decided to add in that he stated he was disgusted with me and every time he had sex with me, he cannot finish. I took her word and I ended the engagement. They had their baby in December of 2022. Fast forward to May of 2023. I got a random message from the woman summarized as, I feel bad for ruining the relationship you're building. Our relationship didn't work out and I want him to be with somebody who will love and value him as you did. I lied about a relationship, it ended long ago, and I only slept with him out of spite. May have nothing more in common than a baby, and now I totally regret what I did. He love you, and I know he does. That's what made me so upset. I'm truly sorry and I hope you can overcome this one day. So fast forward to today. I haven't spoken to him since last November. That I make the right choice to cut off the engagement? Am I being dramatic or unreasonable for not wanting to continue that relationship? The fact that your ex fiance was unfaithful and got under the woman pregnant speaks volumes about his character. He was dishonest with you, and that's not okay. His ex-girlfriend, and admitting she did this out of spite, shows her immaturity and selfishness. Their actions led to a child being born into a complicated situation, and it's clear they didn't consider the consequences. When you asked if you made the right choice, I would say absolutely. Well, it's never easy, it's important to value yourself enough to step away from people who hurt and disrespect you. Your self-respect and mental well-being should always come first, and as painful as it is, Remember this, you dodged a bullet. As for her message in May of 2023, where she confesses a wrongdoing and her feelings, it doesn't change the fact that there was a severe breach of trust that happened. You're not being dramatic and not being unreasonable. You're protecting your heart and your sanity. The Celtic community thinks. Seth's wife says, how do you know it's not him that sent the last message? Either way, the fact remains that he slept with her while you guys were together, correct? And now has a baby with her, which means this shady, conniving woman will be in your life if you ever decide to take it back, which I wholeheartedly hope you do not. What was his reaction when you confronted him about her and cut off the engagement? The OP replies, I've been thinking it was him that sent the message, but I thought maybe I was crazy for thinking that. The first time I addressed him about her, he dismissed it and told me not to worry about her. I got off the engagement and he's contacted me a few times asking for forgiveness. Winterfront1431 chimes in, he cheated and now he got a crazy jealous baby mom in tow for the next 18 years, so yes, you did the right thing. Not only can't he be faithful to you, but now he got this living, breathing reminder, he is a sleaze. 
you did the right thing. Told to stop messaging you. You have moved on. And no intentions of reconnecting with him ever. And block her and block the sleaze. One more story for the road. My ex, 28 male, left me, 29 female, for another woman. And now they're engaged. My ex was my friend for a few years before we tried to give the relationship a go. I was very hesitant for years, but he always had feelings for me and I finally thought I would give him a chance. As soon as I did, he withheld affection, time, and effort. He fed me breadcrumbs. He kept saying he was not ready to give me a title. This lasted three years. I know, it was my fault for that. I found out he was cheating by seeing pictures of him with the affair barber or social media. I confronted him about it and he denied it all. We didn't talk for a year and a half, and we both moved to another major city without knowing that the other moved as well. He found that out and had his best friend contact me on the premise that his friend just wanted to see me, but he, coincidentally, was at the meet-up spot too. It was basically a setup. He was still with the affair partner, but said he really wanted to be friends with me again and explore the new city together. He also said he lives every day with what he has done. I stupidly said yes, and he never kept his word, as if he was going to change, right? <laughs> I saw social media last night that he and the affair bird are engaged. She has posted so many photos of them going on vacations, to dinners, and everywhere that I wanted him to take me. Cause not ready, became ready for someone else. The big smiles he has in his pictures of me fooled. I feel broken. That was almost me, and it never was. The person he cheated on me with became his forever, and I'm sure he changed his ways for her. Just want to add, even though he liked me for those years, he was involved in an on and off toxic relationship that I did not want to get involved in. He did not wait around for me to become single or anything of that sort. We both were single at the time and he tried. Just initially did not know him well to pursue a relationship right off the bat and we became friends first. You're not at fault for the actions of your ex. He led you on, cheated, and then acted as if he'd done nothing wrong. That's on him, not you. I get it. Hindsight is twenty twenty, But please don't blame yourself for giving someone a chance. That's a sign of kindness, compassion, and courage. The fact that he said he was not ready, but then got engaged to someone else, that's his problem. It's not about you, but his inability to communicate and treat people with honesty and respect. Don't let his actions diminish your self-worth or define your future relationships. His actions aren't a reflection of your worthiness, but rather his own shortcomings. His inability to be truthful, his inability to commit, and his ability to manipulate those are reflections on him. You're worth so much more than what he gave you. And by only a couple community comments. Break the glass 1437 says, Don't pain chop. Block his social media accounts and never look back at them again. She's not getting some good guy who's going to treat her well. She's getting an a-hole who will do the same to her sooner or later. My wayward husband was seemingly so in love with his affair burner and I found out he'd actually been cheating on her the whole time. They broke up for a week after she found out, got back together, and apparently they've never known a love like this. And they didn't know how much I loved you until you were gone. Oh yeah. And this all happened two months after they met. <laughs> They're now planning their wedding. And he and I aren't even divorced yet. More power to them. I hope they have the life they deserve together because she knowingly broke up a marriage and a family. And he cheated on both me and her. You can do better, OP. Move on and don't look back and remember his eyes what could have been. You dodged a bullet that she'd going to marry. Those pictures you saw are based on a foundation of dishonesty, cheating, and lies. And lastly, Joe Smith 01 says, Don't end me the girl. He's gonna do to her what he did to you. You're the lucky one in the situation. Thank you for joining us today on our space. We hope you like which her. If you do, don't forget to like and subscribe, and hit that notification bell, so you know when we post the next one. Until then.